Hi, good evening. Today I want to talk about the connection of balanced nutrition with vitamins and cellular health. All these low carb diets and these low fat diets <clears throat> and high protein diets get you results maybe in the short run but it does irreversible damage to your health and your immunity and I want to take out some time to explain just why. These low carb diets give you quick weight loss but the problem is you deprive yourself of several nutrients and energy. You see health, good health and immunity is about the health of your cells. We call it cellular health. Each and every one of you are built of billions and billions of cells and these cells is what maintains life. When there's correct communication between all these cells, your hormones communicate the right way and you're able to lose weight. When there's the wrong communication between these cells because of imbalances of energy between your cells, you have sickness, you have disease, you have the inability to lose weight. Carbohydrates are a macronutrient, which means its job is to provide energy. Now, when we think of energy, we think that, oh, if I eat more carbohydrates, I'll be more energetic in the day. I'm not talking about that kind of energy. I'm talking about energy that your cells need to survive. Like the cells of your entire nervous system needs its source of energy from carbohydrates, not from fats, not from proteins. So when you go on these low-carb diets, <clears throat> you actually create imbalances in the energy between the cells in your nervous system. And let me give you an example. So that's why when we go low-carb, you tend to feel frustrated and irritable and you know sometimes lethargic and you have a short temper. That's because it's affecting your nervous system. Fats and proteins cannot give your nervous cells the energy it needs. That energy has to come only from carbohydrates. Now, there are good carbs and there are bad carbs. There's good protein and there's bad protein, and there are good fats and bad fats. You need to select the right quality of protein, carbs, and fats, and then it works for your body. Now, let me give you an example of the connection of carbohydrates with vitamins. You see a lot of vitamins, especially the B-complex of vitamins, all the B vitamins, which are responsible for almost everything, ranging from the quality of your skin, the quality of your hair, weight loss, diabetes, cardiovascular problems, <clears throat> the formation of new cells, your immunity. All of these vitamins play a crucial role, and they also play a role in the metabolism of carbohydrates, protein, and fat. And when you have an imbalance of carbohydrates and fat in your diet, you don't allow certain vitamins to be synthesized in the human body. And usually, in most cases, diseases are created. Sorry, I have a weak connection, but let me give you an example of vitamin A. Vitamin A, we all think it's just good for your eyes, but you have no idea how powerful vitamin A is for your immunity. It's for your skin, it's for your hair. So you see that like, one drug is made for one disease, but one vitamin can handle multiple ailments in the body because they all work. They're designed to work with one another. So don't deprive yourself of carbohydrates have the right kind of carbohydrates. The wrong carbohydrates will make you fat and will create disease, but the good carbohydrates will actually help you to synthesize vitamins correctly in your body and will allow so many other reactions to happen the right way. In fact, when you eat the right amount of good carbohydrates, you provide energy in your body, energy that can be used to actually burn fat, energy that can be used to help you exercise more productively. Uh, in a more efficient manner so that you can break down fat. So don't skimp out on these fad diets which tell you to reduce your portion of carbohydrates and deprives you of all these calories, which is why the ketogenic diet, yes, it's, it may be great for a little while, people lose weight, but they lose their health in the long run. No one tells you what happens post losing the weight because everyone always wants to show you that the, right, that the diet they're on helps them reach weight loss and they post that figure and everyone's like, wow, how did you lose weight? But you need to scratch below the surface. What is the quality of life post losing all that weight? People lose their hair, their energy levels, their sex drive, you know, the quality of their skin because it's a diet that's deficient in vitamins. You know, fat is not meant as a source of energy for all your cells. Fat is, also, fat is used to generate hormones in your body and all of that stuff, which is why the simplest way is keeping a balanced diet but keeping it smart. 
you know, with all the three main food groups, which is carbohydrates, protein, and fat, but the right quality, the right amount of vitamins, and the right amount of minerals, because these small little vitamins and minerals does all the magic in your body. So aim for a balanced and smart diet and more of lifestyle changes. We don't get fat because of carbohydrates. We get fat because we don't move enough to burn the carbohydrates that we're eating, which is necessary for the human body. We don't get fat because we didn't work out for one. So we need to look at these finer details and make lifestyle changes. Diets just don't work. Have a good evening, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and...